Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from My Heat. So in my last uh, shop update video, I told you that uh, I had a um, subscriber who said, hey, I have this uh, saw, it's a Harbor Freight saw, I think it's four by six. He said, uh, hey, you can have it, I, I just got it, I found it on Craigslist, I just want the motor off of it, if you pay the shipping, uh, you can have it. And uh, if you recall, you know, I had agreed to that and, and it came and, and it's been sitting in my shop in the box that it came in, even though it looked pretty rough, uh, for about six or seven weeks, you know, while I was, you know, insulating and doing some other stuff. And then when I finally opened it up to put it together, um, it looked like it had been dropped a few times. And, and along the shore of the story is uh, the gearbox that uh, drives the blade, um, well, the, it was snapped off. And I'm going to show this here in a little more detail and uh, what's since happened uh, with it since uh, the last time we talked. I did take a couple days uh, uh uh, trip with my wife. She wanted to go. To, she had to go to a uh, a food show. Um, she's in uh, she's in food service. Uh, she's a dietary manager uh, for a hospital, and um, so I agreed to go along with her. And uh, hey, if you ever get a chance to go, that's that's kind of an interesting thing. If you like to eat, I'm not saying that I do, but hey, come on. Um, uh, think of it as a smorgasbord with little bites of about a bazillion different things. So it was it was kind of interesting. And uh, I was rewarded. Uh, we went to Abraham Lincoln's birthplace and uh, went to the Kentucky Train Museum and we went to the Maker Mark Distillery and uh, went on a tour and, and a little taste test uh, there. And uh, so hopefully, if uh, I, th I think she took some pictures of it. I didn't think about taking a camera and video and any of that stuff. I didn't realize we were going to go. Uh, but I, I might have a few pictures of that stuff uh, on the back end of this video. So let me uh, reposition the camera and we'll talk uh, a little bit more about the saw. And I have some questions I think you guys can help me with. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so here we're looking at the uh, top of the saw. And uh, back here, there's a gearbox. And this is the gearbox housing. It's bolted there. It has a worm gear that comes through here, drives a worm wheel, and then this drives to the blade. And this was broke off. So I want to come over to the bench and let's take a little bit uh, closer look at this box and what's going on. And, and I got a couple questions I think maybe um, some of you more experienced guys can help me with. So I'll see you here in just a second. Okay, so when I got the saw it had dropped and this part that we see right here was snapped off. And, and uh, my son said, why don't you let me take that to work with me. We have some pretty good welders. Maybe they can do something with it. Um, and then he called me back and says, uh, hey, Dad, I don't think there's anybody here who's going to be able to fix it. So then I, you know, someone, um, I forget the, 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 uh, the user, subscriber, said, hey, well, you can get some uh, aluminum uh, brazing rod, right? And maybe you can braze it that way. So I was thinking about doing exactly that, brazing around, and then maybe... Um, putting this in the lathe and boring it and then putting a steel sleeve in it and then rebore the inside and whatnot. So, but as you can see here, there's uh, whoever welded it got a pretty good bead all the way around it. Uh, the way this piece was broke, it would, you know, you can almost cannot get it in the wrong position, um, you know, with the jagged edges and everything. And the inside, other than, you know, uh, being able to see, I don't know if you can see in there, other than being able to see the, um, crack from the inside it, it feels feels about the same so I think I'm just going to try using it um, you know I've already got postage in the machine you know this is not a very good saw we we know that but you know I don't want to I don't want to get a whole bunch of money into it you know if I, if I got to spend a lot of money I just can go out and buy one you know so anyway the uh, here are all the parts to it um, the worm gear uh, of course, goes through here and is pressed in. This is my question. So, if you look, uh, there's this plastic sleeve that just I think just is a separator, and you can see how that's been bent and pushed out of position. So, I thought maybe what I would do is turn down an aluminum sleeve to replace this plastic one. Um, I think maybe there you can see how it's really askew. Uh, but how do I pull these bearings off? I mean, you can't really. Um, you know, they're pressed onto the shaft. Uh, uh, can somebody send me an image or point me to a bearing puller or something that, that uh, I can use to pull these, uh, well, at least this bearing off so I can get this off, measure it, and make a, another piece. And then, uh, of course, here's the, uh, this is the worm wheel side. 
uh, just two bearings and a, a seal here in the middle, rubber seal that gets pushed, pressed in here. And then the, the worm wheel has a couple little divots there to roll on the, or to set on this uh, 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 pen here uh, uh, to be driven. And then there's, of course, there's a little snap ring that uh, holds it in and snap ring that holds the uh, worm in and then a little rubber seal for the worm. So that's, that's the unit um, as it is. So my questions are, um, should I even, um, I'm guessing, you know, to put this together right, there, there is a ledge here on the bottom of this bore for this bearing to sit on. And um, by the time you get the uh, rubber seal on here, there's a, uh, there's a, a place for a snap ring to go here on the outside. So I'm guessing that uh, uh, this is going to kind of interfere because you see it's raised up above the bearing. Maybe you can see that. So I really kind of want to pull this bearing off, at least this bearing, make a new sleeve, uh, maybe an aluminum sleeve. Um, I'm sure that it only is probably designed to touch the outer race of the bearing as when they're pressed together and seated all the way down. Um, so anyway, I'm looking for some suggestions like that. Remember, I'm a computer guy by trade. I'm not a machinist, and, and I, I don't think I've ever pulled a bearing um, uh, like this. So um, if you have suggestions, that would be great. So all right, so I'm not going to belabor you with the, uh, with the, uh, uh, the little saw. Hopefully uh, I, can, I can get that, uh, this back together, get the saw back together, and, and maybe try to do some adjustments so that I can cut some material. I think the next uh, real thing coming up is the uh, I've decided that I'm going to do the Kenneth Wells um, engine, and I have a lot of bits to uh, scrape up for that. I got some uh, of the stuff to start it. Excuse me, I have some of the stuff to start it, and I'd like to start that. And I want to uh, the uh, I will point out or show you where the uh, drawings are available to download, and then um, uh, reference uh, Emma. Uh, Emma Spare Room Machine Shop, her her videos on uh, on its construction. That's kind of what I'm gonna do because I've never built anything like that, and uh, to me it's just it's just pretty neat. So that's coming up uh, here soon. And also, um, the only other thing that I want to mention is that uh, if you remember way back when um, I had a, 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 a anonymous user donate to me a milling machine, uh, the Burke Number no. Four. I'm, I'm going to hope to start that soon, but he also gave um, gave me a, uh, a lathe, and I can't remember uh, what, what it is. It's a Logan. That's what it is. It's a Logan lathe. I think it's a 10-inch swing and about probably 24-inch between center or something like that. Want to know if I wanted it. Um, you know, it's it disassembled, um, kind of rough shape. Uh, I said, sure, why not? You know, maybe my son is interested in that. So I think here in the near future, you're going to get to see uh, my son, Zachary. Uh, he's the one who went to uh, machinist school. Um, and uh, he's, uh, he's living at home, but he's working in a machine shop. And he's, he's just trying to save up money to, uh, you know, start buying, uh, you know, his, his tools and stuff like that. So I can't fault the kid for that. But anyway, I think he wants to... Uh, uh, take uh, some space down in the basement of the shop here and start in on on that Logan lathe. I think he's uh, wanting to do that. So I think that you're going to start seeing uh, some other content uh, from one of my sons. So uh, if you think that's a good idea, let me know. If you think it's a bad idea, well, you can let me know, but it's probably not going to change. <laughs> yeah, because uh, he says, hey, look, I, I like the idea. He says, but I don't want a YouTube channel. He says, I, he says we're a family here, and, and we might as well do this stuff together. So, And I can appreciate that. He's a good kid. All right, so look, I'm, I'm going to stop blathering here. You know, I've been on, on here for about 10 minutes. I'm going to see if my wife be nice enough to uh, pull some of the pictures she's taken off her phone. I'll put them over here on the end, and, and uh, you guys can at least see a few of the things that we've seen. So other than that, uh, I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate the emails, uh, even the negative ones. And um, if these videos, uh, you find them entertaining or helpful or anything like that, please take a minute, maybe like, subscribe, or share. If you don't like them, you can give me a thumbs down. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I got pretty thick skin. Um, other than that, hey, have a blessed day.